Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how we can compute the var using MATLAB. The var basically, uh, basically is the matrix that defines uh, the level of financial risk in uh, three variables, uh, specifically uh, the market risk. So the three variables are the amount of loss, probability of loss, and the time frame. So we're in this, there are like different uh, approaches to compute the var, and in this video we are going to focus on parametric var, historical data, and EVT, or extreme value theory. Uh, to save time, I already uh, did um, some uh, data cleaning. So um, the data I'm using here, they're like price, um, stock prices, uh, daily daily prices for uh, stock exchange uh, in um, the 95. So the first thing we want to do is we compute the um, log return, and we are uh, doing we, we do like here some data cleaning when we find. NAND value and we we put zero instead we replace it with zeros uh, to facilitate the computation obviously so here um, um, what I just did is um, to create some assumption for our model so we want an alpha um, one percent so we want to be really accurate and n is uh, the, our time horizon so in this case for example is ten days. And the market value we want to use is um, 100, so we, we can say that it is 100 million. So for the first parametric var, uh, we are going, uh, we need uh, sigma, which is basically the uh, standard deviation of uh, the return. Mu, which is the uh, the mean. Of the return, and then we have to. So in this case, we are um, the assumption I'm making here. We assume a normal. We are assuming a normal distribution. So we are using a built-in function norm in. So the first bar is. Formula, uh, so the first part of the formula is pretty much uh, the same for each method and here we have n the days everything times uh, parameters plus sigma times all right, so that's it for the first parametric bar. Um, the second bar using historical data, we want to redefine Q. Every time we are going to um, we are going to select output bar, so we can re reuse the same variable. Right, um, alpha. And uh, here we have the second bar. Square root n times two. All right. So we want to actually call this. All right. So the last one. This one is a bit more um, intense. Um, to show you uh, the formula. Um, I'm going to use an optimized formula for um, this specific example to save computational time, but the original formula is uh, this one. Alright, so the first thing we need to sort uh, the return. Alright, we find we cut off. We want to define k as Basically, all right. So we just define k, and then instead of using the loop for this, I'm trying to vectorize them. I try to vectorize, them. so it will be much um, faster. Uh, 
ok, eso es igual enter k bye bye k plus 1 All right. and then here we have the very third and final bar square root of n okay plus one length the length of the return times alpha the by k everything to the power of the index we just um, created all right as a um, as a final output we want to compare all the um, three bar value and let's see Real mistakes on I forgot one parenthesis. Okay, um, so as you see here, we have the three uh, bar values. So um, there are like two different ways to read this. So we can say that there are 99% probability that I will lose 11 million within 10 days, or there is 1% probability that I will lose more than 11 million within 10 days. As you see, they are like slightly different as, as expected. So because this depends on on the on the shape on, on the method we are uh, we are using. Uh, the parametric the parametric bar. So the first one we have used is um, is created by uh, resampling basically from from one random example and the, the downside of this is that maybe too much data can contain old data and also ignore um, the dependence of our subset and also it might be that the problem with the resampling from always from the same random sample is that a price series in this case can can change trend over over the time the second the second bar is um, historical data and basically we sort where we have where we have sorted the return and choose um, from the worst to the best, and uh, we um, the problem with this with the problem with this approach is that we are assuming that history repeats itself, which is not always the case, especially in real life. The third um, the third bar we have is extreme value theory. Basically, this is like an improved estimation of uh, of the of the bar because you consider uh, fat tail extreme events, the so-called extreme. Um, extreme event fat tail uh, is really important because, uh, especially in risk management, we th those events are very rare, but they actually have a big impact. Okay, um, if you have any question, please feel free um, to comment below. Thank you.